Welcome to the channel, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. You guys know that I love watches, but I also love random stuff sprinkled in between as a law enforcement officer and a sniper in the military prior. Uh, it's always great to bring you guys high quality stuff like this range bag right here from Three Pigeons. We're gonna go over this entire thing and I'm gonna tell you why it is my new favorite range bag. Let's hop into it. Now everybody in the military knows that when it comes to gear, and this is anybody who loves tactical stuff, if you love going to the range shooting with your children or your friends or anything else, or it's part of your career, you know that range gear is extremely expensive. And it's really nice when I'm able to bring you guys something that is affordable, especially compared to other things out there, and is extremely high quality. Like I've done better holsters in the past, love the holsters. I'm so glad that I'm able to do a review on this Three Pigeons bag right here. This is my go-to bag now. Um, I uh, took everything out of it, but it's been in the back of my patrol car. I use this as my go bag now on patrol. Um, I just love bringing you guys something that's high quality and affordable. People who have been in the military or range hustlers in the past know that a company like Condor, which is a way more affordable option for the more expensive stuff, really is just cheap and Chinese and well, most things come from China, but it's cheaper quality and, uh, and the alternative is something that's 10 times more expensive. All right, it's really difficult for a normal everyday person to spend $400 on a backpack or $500 on a backpack. But at $150 on sale right now, um, it's really hard to beat everything that comes into this. So let's just break down the bag all together. Now, one of the things that I do love about the bag is it does use very high quality military grade nylon on the outside and you can definitely feel the heavy duty feel of the nylon. Now, this isn't completely waterproof, but it is mostly waterproof. They call it weatherproof, which means it's going to last everywhere as long as you don't throw it in the river. And even if you throw it in the river, there's going to be some lag time before water intrusion in the bag, but you should be okay. One of the things I love the most about this bag is the fact that it's modular on the inside and it comes with things most range bags don't. So let's just take a walk around the outside. Coming along the front, there is a pocket directly in the front. And this thing has mini pouches for things like magazines. Um, you can put ammo, uh, anything that's sensitive documents to rain because this is a weatherproof pouch that's waterproof. Um, and it just has just pockets galore in this. You can do really whatever you want. Um, on the left-handed side here is what I love the most. And this is a pocket to the inside of the bag. Not only does this allow you access to the inside of that backpack, but they offer three additional pistol pouches with the bag itself, which makes things extremely handy when it comes to organization. Everybody knows that it is just a hassle when you go to the range and you have multiple different calibers of handguns or anything else. And you kind of just throw all the boxes together and then yeah, you, you gotta go through, sort through the magazine, trust me. Not everybody is OCD about going to the range and people who aren't even OCD, these things are great when it comes to organizing. And on the inside of each one is the exact same thing. It offers, and we're gonna set this up in just a minute. It offers the ability to toss your pistol in there and then it has multiple pouches for magazines and rounds to include holsters. It's really nice that they have quick access into a side pouch so you can get those and you don't have to worry about what's in the rest of the bag. Now moving around to the other side is a pocket that are just basic pouches. Now these are good for ammo boxes or even loose ammo like for me, I had shotgun shells in this pouch because that's just easy for loose ammo for me. On duty, I carry a Glock 22, which is a 40 caliber. I also carry uh, M an M4, an AR-15, uh, that's a uh, 5.56. And then I also carry a 12 gauge shotgun that has buck 
and slugs. So it's really nice to have extra pockets like this where I can just toss some slug rounds in here, especially because here in Alaska, sometimes people hit moose and we gotta put moose down or bears. And uh, it's really nice to use a, a slug uh, to uh, dispatch those animals in need of dispatching. Now on the inside, it's exactly what you'd expect like anything else offers more pockets on the top. There's just so many pockets in here, you can do whatever you want. Now this is not just a good range bag, but I would say this is a good everyday hiking bag as well. There's so many different options you can set this bag up with. You can have compasses in here, land nav stuff. Um, I would recommend getting something like an Av Trek right here. This is a navigation watch that I did a review on. I'll leave a card right here. That's a perfect all around. Um, since this is a watch channel, that's a perfect overall uh, hiking and trekking watch. It offers a compass, a barometer, it offers a step counter, it offers a, a lot of different things, um, an, an altimeter. Um, so, so you don't need all that stuff in here, but it's always nice to have a backup because the rule of thumb is one is none, two is one, three should be enough when it comes to backup things. So plenty of pocket space in here. Um, Inside the bag is more modular, having dividers for different types of pockets. So right here is a standard pocket, but it also has a Velcro uh, slip along the bottom so you can open up into the main bag and have access to the main bag, or you can have your own pocket for other things at the top. And then you get into the main pocket and you have, again, more space and you have access to your pistol pouches if you want to get to your pistol pouches. Now, when setting up something like a pistol pouch, really all you would do is make sure you have your unloaded uh, handgun, whatever is your choice. This is the Glock 22 right here. And then you would slide in extra magazines into the pouch. Again, extra rounds. And it's nice because there's easy, quick access and there's just wonderful padding along the inside to make sure that the love of your lives, the pistols in your lives, your ladies aren't damaged, scratched up, or just done dirty. One of the things that I do like the most about this is just how comfortable everything is. On the back side, you have very, very thick padding along the waistband. You have thick padding around the waistband, around the lower back and lumbar support. And it also has uh, netting to allow sweat wicking if it's extremely hot outside. Now they use a thousand D high density nylon. So it's three times stronger than standard nylon. So because of that, this bag is gonna last for a long time. And it does have a strap along the front that has a hook. If you have another bag, you wanna to clip to it with something like a D-ring. Now, how have I set up this bag for work? Well, I have a secondary pistol that I carry in one of these pouches. The other two pouches are left out. The uh, pistol pouches are left out because I just don't need them. So I put them off to the side uh, for a standard range day. I have shotgun shells in the outside pouch that I showed you. Um, on, in the front, I have a small med kit that I have. And really this is a go bag for something like an active shooter situation. That's why I have it set up the way I do. I also have extra magazines for my M4 that are in here that are loaded up, ready to go with tap rounds. And I have other things like laminated school sheets that show me the floor plans of multiple schools that we have here in the city that I work. When it comes to the med stuff in the front, you know, I have things like combat gauze, which has a quick clotting material inside the gauze. I have things like a, a SWAT tourniquet, which is like a kind of like a rubber tire. I also have a um, cat T tourniquet in here and I just have um, extra gauze and I just have, you know, some snacks that I leave in the main pocket because you have no idea how long you may be on a perimeter. Um, if there's a homicide, you may be out there for 10 or 12 hours. So it's important to have something uh, set up as a go bag like I do at work on duty. Now, outside of that, for a range bag, uh, the world is your oyster when it comes to setting this thing up. There's so many different pockets. There's so many different pouches. It has the ability to strap on some molly on the outside if you want to even add additional pouches. And the one thing that I love about Three Pigeons are not only are they really affordable in the high quality materials that they offer, 
right? You can feel the, one of the things that you know is high quality when it comes to stuff like this, this isn't the nylon necessarily, it's the zippers. Right, everybody knows when they buy a high quality anything, it has good zippers on it. And that is the one thing that I love about this. You can see that it has the ability for the zippers to come together in a way to where you can put small locks on the outside of the zipper to lock up your bag because there could be guns inside, right? Um, they've thought about all that and they've put really the quality where it matters the most in the material. I've given this bag to, to kind of test out and set up uh, who work with me in law enforcement. And they basically did exactly what I did with setting up my bag. We all kind of think the same. So what do you guys think? And I would like to take this out to the range, but I just can't get out to the range right now to really show you guys how it would work on the line. So right after this video, I'm gonna set this thing up to go back into the back of my patrol car as my go bag and I have full faith that this is gonna last me the rest of my career. I'm a decade in and I have no no doubt this is gonna last another 10 or 15 years. Easy, I'm really excited to take it out to the range. Um, I'm thinking about taking a hiking with me in a couple weeks uh, and testing it out there. So I'll give you guys an update on the community page or I'll do a second video. Now, what do you guys think? Now I love doing different things other than watches, but of course this is a watch channel, but I love the tactical stuff because it really brings something more to the table than just the everyday watch. Now, what do you guys think? Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. This is all things random, mostly watch reviews with some random stuff sprinkled in between. And I got a video coming out probably every one to two days. I'm trying every day and a half to two, maybe three days, but I'm doing videos all the time. I'm really trying to hit it hard with the content. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.